This video will explain how to use the direct input manifold features on the Design Tool 2.0. By default, the Design Tool 2.0 will set the size and number of manifolds based on the volume of the system and size of the chamber selected. It is recommended you verify that the sizing meets the project's design requirements. Once you have generated a layout using the system parameters, simply click on the inlet or outlet structure for which you would like to modify the existing manifold design. Once selected, a dialog box will appear with a list of settings you can manually adjust to customize your project. The first toggle allows you to turn the isolator row plus on or off. Under Select Structure Inlet, the drop-down menu allows you to select the type of structure you would like to design with. You can choose from a round or square structure or specify a niloplast basin. The Select Isolator Row Bypass option lets you select between an elevated manifold design or use a weir with an inlet structure. Selecting elevated manifold will set the manifolds to top connections by default while selecting Weir will set the manifolds to bottom connections. Under Select Manifold Size, you have the option to adjust the size of the manifold. When choosing a reducing manifold size, the first number is the diameter of the header and the second is the diameter of the inlet connection to the end cap. Next, you can select the direction of the manifold relative to the structure location. Once you have chosen the manifold direction, you can adjust the number of manifold stubs needed by clicking the up or down arrows. You can also use the toggle to show the number of stubs on every other row or all in a row. As you are making custom changes to the manifold design, the estimated manifold flow rate is also updating in real time, allowing you to dial in your required inlet or outlet flow rate. If you have any questions or need additional assistance, please call ADS Engineering Services at 866-328-8040 or visit stormtech.com.